I'm going to solve population math practice worksheet number two. So go ahead and pause the video and read about the birds on Anacapa Island, which is off the coast of California. So number one, what is the density of the birds on the island? So first we have to get our area by multiplying length times width because our formula for density is population over area, but it doesn't give us our area. It says it's 0.5 kilometers long times 4.6 kilometers wide. About. Of course, it's not a complete triangle shape, but it's kind of long and skinny, and it has basic per, um, measurements on average like that. So we're going to take this and multiply it together with your calculator, and you're going to get 2.3 kilometers squared. So now we're going to take the 1,500 goals that live there and we're going to divide by 2.3 kilometers squared. So when you use your calculators, you're going to get 6522 goals per square kilometer. So let's go ahead and talk about our rounding. So at the top of this paper, it says to round to three significant digits as needed. So our answer actually came out as a big long number, 6521.739113, etc. So true significant digits, you would actually only need three, and so the answer would be 6520 because the six, the five, and the two would be significant. But what the significant digits mean is as needed is if you can round to the nearest whole number here, um, then go ahead and round to the nearest whole digit there. So even though this has four significant digits in the answer, it's still okay. What they want you to do is if you get a number like this with all of these digits trailing after it, you know that you can round to the nearest whole number. And if you do round to 6520 because that's three significant digits, that's okay. But leaving it like this is also okay. Number two. What is the birth rate of the birds on the island? So we're going to take birth rate, which is the third bullet point, 3,500 chicks over total population, which is about 15,000 goals. And this is times 100. So pause, go ahead and plug that in your calculator. And our answer is 23.3333333. So here it's really important that you round to three significant digits, which is this. So each of these numbers are significant, and you can round like this. All right, going on to number three. The death rate. So the gold deaths are 2,300 each year over total population times 100. Pause the video while you do the calculation. And that's times 100, not 1,000. So our answer ends up being 15.33333. So again, we can round to three significant digits, which is 15.3%. Number four, what is the crude growth rate of the birds on the island? So crude growth rate 
is just births minus deaths over total population. Remember to write out the setup. So even though you possibly could do this just with the calculator without writing things out, you must put setups because on FRQs, on the AP test, you will need to have the setup or no credit. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, when you solve, you come out as an even 8%. So here, because you come out even, you don't need to add significant figures. Technically, this would be three significant figures. Could you do it like that? You sure could do it like this. But the three significant figures are a way to help you if you have a number that goes on and on and on and on and you need to know how to round it. Well, this one comes out even, so you're okay. Number five. So number five is the long one with migration. So we're gonna take 3,500 births plus immigrants minus parentheses deaths 2300 plus emigrants with an E over our total population times 100. Pause the video and go ahead and do this calculation on with your calculator. So in this case, it's actually nice to sketch it out and to write it out so you don't forget <coughs> a number in your calculator, especially if you don't have a graphing calculator. So to do the problems a step at a time can help you. So this answer comes out as 7.9%. And again, since it comes out even, you don't need to add that extra zero for three significant digits. It already comes out even. Number six, what is the doubling time of the population? So we're going to use 70 over R as our formula. The last problem gave us the answer as 7.9. So when you plug this in your calculator, it's gonna pop out as, ye as years. Now do not multiply by 100 here because this is when R is already a percentage. So when you solve, I'm sorry, let me back that up. You do not round by 100 because the answer is going to, or you don't multiply by 100 because the answer is gonna come out as years already. So your answer is going to be years. And you can round here to three significant digits because the answer is 8.860759493367. So we're gonna round to three significant digits. And this is where the three significant digit rule is helpful when you have these numbers that go on and on and on. Number seven, do you think the goal population will actually double in these 8.86 years? Probably not. So we have limiting factors that come in. So what is going to limit the population of the goals here on Anacapa Island? What are our limiting factor? Things like lack of space, competition for space, competition for food, for water. Predators will move in. If there's a lot of goals, you're gonna have some predators move in to eat the goals. Diseases can come through a population if they're too dense. It's easily transmitted from one goal to another. So those are the things that you should write down, one or three of those limiting factors for the goals. And that's the end of population math number two. So let's go on to population math practice number three. And we will do that on the next video.